Hey, Josh, I think showed us a map one or two days ago already that yeah. this was going to happen, and here it is. We'd have these hazy skies from other wildfires far away from here. Uh, yeah, primarily in Northern California, all of its wildfire smoke is tracking its way north into much of the Pacific Northwest, but it's also mixing with a lot of the wildfire smoke that we are currently seeing right here in our area, giving us these brilliant sunset views out over downtown Portland from earlier today from atop the coin tower. But there's a reason why we actually see those red sunsets, especially when those skies become smoky. It sits low on the horizon, so it's cutting through a lot of different layers of the atmosphere in addition to all of the smoke particulates. So it kind of filters out all of the different color bands of the wavelength of light, and it just gives us the red that's allowed to poke its way through all of those different layers. And it's no surprise, especially when we're talking about poor air quality, moderate levels through much of our state, even a few locations falling back to the unhealthy for sensitive groups category as the I-5 quarter remains at a good air quality right now. But this is the map that Elizabeth was talking about, the high elevation smoke being produced by a lot of the fires burning out towards the central regions of our state as well. But you'll notice this nice onshore flow kind of keeps all of that smoke and haze over the Cascades and points east as we work our way not only through Thursday, but into Friday as well. So as you look off along the horizon out towards the mountains, likely going to be seeing those hazy conditions. As all is calm and quiet for our forecasting area, the lightning potential still remains out towards the eastern sections of Washington this evening. That's where that fire threat still remains. The National Weather Service keeping that red flag warning in effect through midnight tonight as those wind gusts associated with those thunderstorms approach 40 miles per hour. You can see that our dials are going to turn back through the overnight hours. That's due to cooler temperatures and lower relative humidity values. But as the sunshine and the triple digit heat for places like Pendleton returns, that's where we expect to see the higher uh, fire threat once again return. As we take a live look out towards the Vancouver waterfront area, thanks to the Riverview Bank cameras, our temperature at a PDX much cooler than where we have been at this time over the past several nights, 73 degrees with those clear skies. Not to say the same along the coast. We got that marine there pushing its way on shore through the overnight hours, but the sunshine, it will be baking the Willamette Valley and the Cascades once again tomorrow, day one of our latest warming trend, climbing back up into the upper 80s and then eventually the 90s with very little rain in our forecast. Again, those rain shower potentials remain absent from our seven day as the number of days without rainfall amounting to 20. Now last picking up one one hundredth of an inch of rain back on June 27th. So we desperately need to see the return of some wet weather for tonight in the city. 62 degrees. That will be a nice change of pace. Crack open the window. Let some fresh air in as those clear skies remain. But for tomorrow, what's on tap for the coast is the mid 60s, if not even the low 70s, a mix of sun and clouds. It's during the afternoon hours. We'll have a little bit more of that sunshine with the I-5 corridor getting back up into the summer zone, mid to upper 80s for us with plentiful sunshine, triple digits found out towards the east, keeping that fire potential relatively high and the Cascades also getting in on those smoky skies with temperatures anywhere from the 70s to the 80s to the 90s. Now for the Portland Pride festivities that we prepare for this weekend, it will be hot 95 on Saturday, 88 for the parade as our seven day forecast shows that the sunshine continues to keep a tight grip on us here in the Pacific Northwest. Now I mentioned Saturday peaking at 95 with cool off slightly Sunday, but look next week, low 80, something we haven't seen recently, and that puts us closer to what is normal for this time of year. That average right around 82, 83. So finally, we will start to see some normalcy back in our forecast. Yeah, that'll be nice. Won't it, it will be. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Josh. And coming up on Queen 60s at 11.